morning, squad. Welcome back to Mad Mizzy Sports Morning Show, the number one spot for everything sports talk, sports news, sports debate in the morning. Episode 104, we got a crazy rundown this Friday. Aaron Rodgers emerges from his dark retreat. What do y'all expect him to do? Is he going to return to the NFL? Is he going to play for the Packers or is he going to play for someone else? Should Lamar Jackson get a fully guaranteed contract? And would you blame the Baltimore Ravens for moving off of Lamar Jackson? Sixers beat Memphis 110-105. Can the Philadelphia 76ers contend in the Eastern Conference and for the NBA title this year? And then we're going to break down the NBA games coming on ESPN tonight of the Miami Heat at the Milwaukee Bucks and the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Phoenix Suns. Let's get right into it, gang gang. So we're going to start off in the NFL in Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers emerging from his dark retreat. What do y'all expect Aaron Rodgers to do now that he's emerged from his retreat and he's supposed to make his decision on whether he's retiring, playing football, or if he's playing football for the Packers? To me, I'm expecting Aaron Rodgers to play football. He has 50, what, $56 million on the table this year, guaranteed money. Yeah, he's going to play football this year. Now, is he going to play for the Green Bay Packers or is he going to find another suitor? I'm predicting that Aaron Rodgers is going to play for the Green Bay Packers just be, just because he invested so much time with the young wide receivers last year. Romeo Dobbs, Christian Watkins, and all those cats. And then you come back, you got Aaron Jones, you got A.J. Dillon, you know the facility, you know the, the coaching staff, you know the city, you know the area, you, 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 you run everything. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think Aaron Rodgers at this age or this mindset wants to go into let's say New York and figure out New York the big city get incorporated with Robert Sala their offensive coordinator uh who, who they got out there his old all his old offensive coordinator Vic Vangio um but yeah I, I don't um I, I I see him staying with the Green Bay Packers I don't I don't see Aaron Rodgers wanting to make a drastic change especially he being on his psychedelic, all the stuff that he does, I don't know if he's prepared for the backlash, the media, and what the team is going, the other teams and franchises are going to be expecting of him as a leader. So I think Aaron Rodgers is going to play football next year, and I think it's going to be for the Green Bay Packers. Let's move on. Let's move to Baltimore. Should Lamar Jackson get a fully guaranteed contract? I already stated my stance on this. Yes, Lamar Jackson should get a fully guaranteed contract. If Deshaun Watson got a fully guaranteed contract, then Lamar Jackson should get a fully guaranteed contract. If Kirk Cousins got a fully guaranteed contract, Lamar Jackson deserves to have a fully guaranteed contract. Like I said, in 2019, he was the youngest MVP in NFL history. NFL history. So yes, I would completely blame the Baltimore Ravens if they didn't want to pay Lamar Jackson a fully guaranteed $230 million contract. I'm sorry. And even now, with y'all coming, with it being leaked that they offered a 133, y'all, y'all better come with 240 guaranteed, 250 guaranteed for Lamar. Because at the end of the day, he is the system. He is the reason that y'all are still relevant post the Ray Lewis, Ed Reed era. That is the sole reason y'all are still relevant. Because y'all tried to go with Joe Flacco. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Had to start Lamar Jackson halfway through the season. Joe Flacco been retired ever since then. Just ain't tell nobody. Ain't announce it yet. You feel what I'm saying? My man done been hung his cleats up. You feel what I'm saying? So, yes, they should give Lamar Jackson a fully guaranteed contract. And if if Lamar Jackson is not playing for the Baltimore Ravens next year, that's complete blame on that organization and how they ran. I don't, I, I mean, I'm giving props to Roquan Smith for getting his contract and all that. But, listen, linebackers don't win you the, 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 the Super Bowl. You don't think he Ray Lewis. And even now, I don't think Ray Lewis can be the difference between if you win in the Super Bowl or not. I just don't. You need that quarterback. And y'all have that quarterback and y'all willing to let him walk? That's complete blame on that organization. Uh, uh, an amazingly ran organization at that, may I, may I add. That organization is ran like a well-oiled machine. So for them to make this slip up is it will be shocking to me it will be shocking but it's looking like it's trending in that direction let's move off of the nfl let's shift gears and focus on the nba the philadelphia 76ers beat the memphis grizzlies last night 110 105 in philadelphia can the philadelphia 76ers contend in the eastern conference and overall for the nba title this year yes they can if they get what they got yesterday from their stars joel and b didn't go out there and score efficiently, but he still dropped 27 hits, 16 boards, six blocks, six assists. Dude was doing his thing. Then you got 31 from James Harden. Then you got 20 from Tobias Harris, and then another 16 from Tyrese Maxey coming off the bench. So if you're going to get that, to me more so, you're going to probably lean more on Joel Embiid as a scorer. But as long as 
James Harden is the clear number two option, and then Tobias Harris can step in, be that consistent three or fourth option. You just got to be consistently in that 15 to 20 range, and then you got Maxi consistently as that third or fourth option in that 15 to 20 range. He's averaging about 20 right now. Yes, they can contend in that Eastern Conference. It's going to be tough regardless. If they go out there and play their best, it's going to be tough because you're going up against Giannis and the Bucks, and they just won the finals two years ago. You and you're going to be going up against the Boston Celtics with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, who were just in the finals a year ago, took the Golden State Warriors to six games. So it's not going to be easy at all. But yes, they can contend if they get what they get and they'll be out there pushing each team to their limits. Yes, they can, especially if Joel Embiid is going to go out there and be an MVP impact player every time in every series. If he's going to go out there and be damn near the best player on the floor for every series, they're going to have a shot as long as James Hart and Tobias Harris and Tyrese Maxey show up and do what they did last night against a top team in the Western Conference in the Memphis Grizzlies. So, in my opinion, yes, the Sixers can contend for the Eastern Conference title this year or NBA title this year, but it's all going to be dependent on how consistent James Harden is going to be, Tobias Harris, and Tyrese Maxey. That's all it's going to be. We know we can bank on Joel Embiid, but how are the rest of the cast going to show up? How is the rest of the cast going to show up? That's the way I'm looking at it. Let's move on to the primetime games coming on ESPN tonight of the Miami Heat at the Milwaukee Bucks. And then you got the Oklahoma City Thunder at the Phoenix Suns. What am I seeing in this first game? Miami Heat at the Milwaukee Bucks. The Miami Heat are 2 and one against the Milwaukee Bucks so far this year in their first three meetings. Bucks on a 12-game winning streak coming into the All-Star break. So they're coming into this game on a 12-game win streak. I'm going to see the Bucks pulling this game out. I think Giannis will play tonight. I'm going to say 102 to 109 Milwaukee Bucks over the Miami Heat. Just too much Milwaukee for this Miami Heat team. Too much Giannis. I think he's going to come out there, prove that his wrist is pretty healthy and he's ready to take off in the second half of the season. Now let's move over to the West Coast. You got the Oklahoma City Thunder at the Phoenix Suns. What am I expecting in this game? No Kevin Durant out there. He is scrimmaging and all that, but no Kevin Durant tonight. Both won three of the last five games. I'm going to see in their first matchup, this is their first of their four matchups in their next, what, I think 25 games for each of these teams so they're going to be seeing each other over the next few months i'm gonna go with the phoenix suns in this game though because they need this game they need to keep pace and i think that they want to uh just be on a good stride as kevin durant comes into the lineup i don't think they want to be on a, a losing streak and looking at kevin durant as a savior as he's coming off of an injury to kind of turn their ship around i think they want to turn it around with chris paul and devin booker and then just have kevin durant come in and add into that ship so i'm gonna go with the phoenix suns 116 113 over the oklahoma city thunder let me know what y'all think though aaron Rodgers emerges from his dark retreat what do y'all expect him to do what decision do y'all expect aaron Rodgers to make should lamar jackson get a fully guaranteed contract and if he doesn't, do you completely blame the Baltimore Ravens organization if they don't give him that contract and have to end up moving off of Lamar Jackson? 76ers beat the Memphis Grizzlies last night, 110-105. Can they compete in the Eastern Conference and for NBA title this year? And then who do y'all have in the primetime games coming on ESPN tonight of the Miami Heat at the Milwaukee Bucks and the Oklahoma City Thunder at the Phoenix Suns? Like, comment, share, subscribe, listen, alert. Have a great, adventurous, safe weekend. Mad Mizzy Sports Morning Show, Mizzy World Entertainment. Gang. Okay.